And we can see from Wildblood right now, they are coming in with triple for the Falconetti, right? So they are going to very heavily focus both the towers and the bridge. Some players are also spawning on the small B side, so they are going to keep this safe and secure. Now they are placing two free culverings, so a couple of yes. them already lost to the trebuchet, though. Yes, exactly. Uh, the, as a reminder, uh, the defender has only 15 artillery pieces when attackers has a... go down in a second all the units from defenders pulling down yes concern left one almost dead middle one almost dead right one dead so very and now get a they using it they just... 12 were placed already so temple but there is a... hit their tower then own one shot on the... but uh, at this okay they are bringing yeah why the... hit by the by the trebuchet they the... near yeah, but look at the A point. Kira tried to flank with Plebnan through the ladders. Actually, Lof is already up there. He's climbing, climbing with his berserkers behind the defenders. So very interestingly splitting the wild dot across everywhere. But yeah, devs are flowing in and plebs out of time. And the push is coming in actually. Plebs very nicely coming in with the shields, of course, at the beginning. But they have quite a few berserker units free, I believe. And they are going to flank the defenders. Seems like this is going to be pulled out. Wild Breath right now retreating with all their units yeah definitely they should call it earlier probably miss some miscommunication and probably they want to this is crucial thing that will be happening for the next couple of minutes when we look at the unit statistics yeah and the trigger is pulled right now from pleb they are going to put a very heavy pressure here on the supply point from this defender side we can see very heavy pike setup so they are going to try to stay here alive as oh. much as can but pleb double grape shot this is very nicely done Fire is coming in from the attackers, and this is going to be broken down like uh, shortly. Yeah, definitely. Ah, okay. And uh, Falconetti is also doing great job here, erecting all the units who are trying to do. And this mortar is... in trebuch? Why? Yeah, quite questionable. It cannot hit over here. But uh, right now, I want to point out something you can see in the distance. Tocho right now coming with his cavalry, trying to flank everything but yeah plebs if... they knew about it and they are ready with their pipes in the front line though plebs uh, slowly but surely they are bleeding out one by one the close quarters falconetti is doing great work for the attackers they are just statically standing here they have created the base for them basically right a lot of uh, artillery was placed oh. a lot of defensive units and this uh, this falconet is making the difference yeah, definitely. Even Flamers couldn't stop them. Now we see like a uh, uh, big horde is going to collapse on the poor guy who left on the uh, on, on the supply point. And definitely that will be a victory for, of course, victory for the, of this supply by Flaps. Yeah, I mean, those uh, Liao Rangers, they are just going to be pushed in and lost for free. I don't think oh. this is a good decision to still keep a pressure here. Yes, four minutes, it's not that much time, but it's also enough of time for plebs to continue the attacks for further stages of the game. So suiciding your units like that from White Blood, this is not a good idea. PvP, uh, players versus players on the last point fighting, and then you come with the Liao and Liao do their job then kill the players why they just throw them away oh come on yeah that's not a good decision wild blood right now as well only nine people alive so if plebs will continue the pressure they can just directly switch to the last point and uh, yeah low hero kills units wise though 500 units lost on wild blood 300 on plebs you can very very easily see that Plebs are not rushing, they are moving fast, but they are moving fast and sure. This is a good tactic, they have prepared cover for every angle, they are ready for everything from every direction. Right now, counter attack from White Blood, they are pushing in heavy, but the units they are bringing, unfortunately, this is mainly Pike Militia, some Azabs, but just few of them, unfortunately, here. Yes, they have some flamethrowers, but these are good into the blob. And right now, the whole attack is spreading across the whole supply point. Love from the left side with Armingers. Someone coming in behind here with, you know, with um, the with other cavalry. So this is very heavy from all directions. Fire coming in from two 
fire units actually see for noise from defenders and attackers slowly but surely they are making their way up the stairs they have placed at least five six grape shots so most of these grape shots dealing a lot of damage to the heroes a lot of losses on the defenders side just a couple of units left for them yeah did you see this uh, trebuchet was perfectly two trebuchet in the row was perfectly landed on the white blood uh, units it was crazy damage the first uh, trebuchet i saw i was thinking oh this is blank space why are they trebbing in and in the second in this in this particular place show up a white blood unit and hit it so heavy yeah but it looks like right now plebs is uh, stuck in a place a little bit i mean they are attacking yes slowly but surely but then also you know not fast enough uh, all white blood team were able to either respawn regroup they have new units here in the front line not too many not too good but still some units are here and four minutes we'll see if this will go uh, into the white blood favor with um, so many people being able to come back into the batch now is now it's to uh, now it's to temple uh, if he say we, okay guys we going back regroup and we attack again or he just come on push 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 that is on his oh yeah and we see that temple everything else is blue or purple so much much more heavy hitters half two and a half minutes left we'll see where it goes plebs you need to push it right now much faster all of your artillery is dead there is no time to it just push on you're countering pike militia right now in the front line three units of those actually some namkans and we can see push is coming in and they are listening to me i guess pushing in much heavier <laughs> stalwarts coming into the front line soaking up a lot of the damage from namkans this is something very nice because berserkers fully health berserkers are right now plowing through all the remaining heroes units and whatever wild blood have near the cap point plebs right now 14 oh, yeah. versus 11 and yeah wild blood players going down fast yeah, the Berserkers are beasts, totally beasts. They shred apart the remaining forces of the White Blood. The White Blood has only 150 units and the Berserkers is still doing a great job running around, just killing remaining players and uh, plebs are gaining the ground and start capping and trying to stop uh, remaining players from the White Blood to jumping into the point. Yeah, 14 versus 1 though, that's GG. Oh, no one is going to spawn boy. from Wild Blood in time. Poor boy. He, if, maybe if he was short or GG. Yeah, GG. maybe, but then also <laughs> death timers were quite long at that. Yeah, and they did that indeed. Like, it was seen very, very nicely. Even the Oh yeah, we see a totally different approach from the White Blood. They bring uh, three cavalry and a lot of Golden Era range units like Flamers, Pavis, Falconetti. Quite standard opening. Uh, maybe not that standard because we see that some players abandon and uh, just focus behind the wall. But uh, with this uh, Lance Knash, they can easy kill. Uh... Point, I guess. Oh, we see uh, a nice opening. Some players are going here with the Berserkers. They want a quick, uh, quick approach on the point. Yeah, the, the side push was quite interesting. They wanted to find an opening and they placed double. They invested two of their Berserkers team and Azabs as well. The end of this is actually quite unfortunate because plebs, they are having their scout players. They are watching every direction. They knew about it and they immediately react. This ends up in, uh, in attackers, White Blood, losing most of these units. But the key thing here in the plan is actually trying to get this tower. Unfortunately, oh. it got destroyed. So good yeah, idea. Now... Almost got it. Not in that... Left one just spawned, not pushed yet. In regards to units, 88 to 77. So pretty much quite similar. Definitely make it. It's pretty much full health. Other towers, not there. Let's see where it goes. It seems like plebs is having totally different idea they are actually countering an um, attack from white blood in the down in the down downstairs right they are having quite a lot of pikes here to make sure they will not get flanked and right now the push is coming in white blood attacking quite heavily in regards to the front line they are moving very fast with their shields spikes and whatnot also the support from falconet is close range this is going to be devastating if they will be able to place few accurate uh, trebuchets on top of that this might go into their favor for now counter attack is coming in from plebs they are moving very heavily all 
units from downstairs are climbing up and imperial pikes are counter advancing shields are going down from the defenders right now the fight is on and it is on very heavily come on place some trebuchet because this is lacking yes it's coming in but a little bit too late yeah the white blood have taken very heavy losses here good reaction from plebs and this trebuchet being too late we will see if this fight will be able to go into white blood favor in a moment I think we, at this stage, uh, why not should uh, save their lives and just uh, prepare for another push? Because he, they have still here Falconetti who can g get easy wipe and they should retreat to do something. They we need we, they need to create this destruction. Somewhere. Yeah, and seems like this is going to be a repeat of the attack. Same direction, let's see if the results will be different. Right now, Pikes, Imperial Pikes very heavy on them, while pushing both left and right side at the same time. They are advancing heavily. Plebs not going to wait. They are also bringing their own Imperial Pikes, counter advancing both sides at the same time. Seems like Whiteblood is making good moves into the A area. And yeah, they are going quite statically near the stairs. Flamethrowers are moving here forward. They are going to deal a lot of damage if Plebs are not going to eliminate them fast. Additionally, on top of that, four Grape should plays. So this is going to be a crucial difference from the first attack. Much more damage from Flamethrowers flowing in both sides on the attack side this is very great change from wild blood so much damage dealt from these flamethrowers so much damage dealt from these grape shots also we have seen namkans coming in here as well as pavais they are going to deal another big round of damage throughout the whole fight so right now very strong push from white blood and they are winning the top side still few players from plebs are staying alive but this is just players and some namkans also two or three uh, berserkers are running around but yeah if plebs is not going to resupply very soon they might lose this a point here yeah but look at this this decision about taking a lot of short sword is giving them benefits because they still can jump 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 on the point stopping stopping killing the units and uh, white blood have really really hard time to cap this a in the process and we see another 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 two players ex actually uh, and then they going, going. Wow, this can be really, really close to the yeah, end. Yeah, 18 seconds on the clock though. I mean, yeah, good decision from Plebs. They tried 15 seconds left oh. until this was captured. Very close, but yeah, look <laughs> at that. At the top, you can see right now the decision. Wild Black right now fully rushing into the C point. Will they be ready for the Hussar's charge though? This is coming in from the front, going to deal a lot of damage to the heroes. They have seen it, spotted. Yeah, very nice counter attack from Etuli. He used his ultimate to get this charge stopped. And yeah, units are flowing in as well from Wild Blood. They are continuing the attack. Hussar's counter attacking right now from Wild Blood. Some Pavais are here, some Landknecht as well. So the damage dealers are slowly moving their way forward. Uh, Sifa now are also close here. And yeah, we'll see if Plebs will be able to stick to their attack. Right now on the left side, we can see Armingers are going around everything and they are going to take down white blood damage dealers. So very well played from the shot caller uh, for the Plebs team. But yeah, right now, this, is, can, this can go sideways. Both of the teams have very low unit count on the C point. Yeah, but we still have one player who is in the meantime, in the process capping B that give uh, much more time for white blood, they will still have a chance for another push, uh, especially they have a little bit more units on their side. I don't know what quality their unit is. Maybe you can highlight it for me. Yeah, I mean, right now plebs are counter-attacking heavily and uh, I don't think white blood will stay here. So we can open up the stats on the main screen, I guess, and take a look. Advantage with the numbers now because of three dev players already 10 to 14 and they still yeah, and attacking yeah and they have to they have to attack because this is where this is this is where it's decided and the attack the decision from plebs here is very good they are one they want to keep white blood in this choke point they want to have them under control with so many pikes still left in regards to the defenders they can make sure that everything is cut down right now right here and this is working for them right now attackers white blood they don't have too many units left as we uh, as we highlighted some of the good units are here but most of them are gray so not too many 
damage can be dealt. 14 versus right now, right now on the field, plebs looking good. Uh, made only uh, only bad decision today. Stay long because already play pleb uh, heroes are cleaning this and they also cleaning uh, the remaining hero. Then, as said, throughout the, both of the games, even though plebs won, it's not exactly one-sided victory, right? Plebs taking it 